tell you some things that God wants me to share, and He want me to share this, and um, I haven't done so until now, and I need to pray about it, because I'll be honest, this is um, a couple of visions that I had earlier this year, or uh, sometime late, uh, sometime last year, and it, it might even it's, kind of it's two different vi uh, visions. So, um, I always get kind of reluctant to do stuff that I haven't revealed in a really long time. So, anyway, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, um, please have mercy and forgive me for being slothful. Um, I believe it's what you told me to do. Um, God, please help me to do this. Please uh, forgive. These visions um, to explain them the way that you gave them to me. And God, uh, please let me have those come upon me so I can say everything correctly um, as you gave it to me, God. I love you so much. And bless those that see this video and keep the song, keep us inside, and help us to grow in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so I am going to. Well, I've decided to give two visions. I might give two visions. <laughs> but I think I'll give two. I need to do more. But anyway, the first one that I want to tell you all about is when I actually saw Jesus being crucified on the cross. Okay, I will be free. That's how I'm going to do it. Um, okay, so the way that this happened, I was walking in my living room, and all of a sudden, the room that I'm in now, this wall that's in the back of me, um, all of a sudden this wall was completely gone. I, I'm, I was walking, this is not a dream, it was an open vision, and this wall was completely gone. And all of a sudden I was there, I was right there when Jesus was being crucified. I saw people there, um, I'm not even sure 100%, I want to say I saw Roman soldiers, but I'm not sure. Um, but I know I saw people there, and I know I saw Mary, because I remember looking over, and my spirit said, that's her, that's his mother. Okay, um, and I'll tell you really quickly what she looked like, and then I'll get into uh, myself a little bit. But when I saw her, I was a little surprised when I came uh, back from this vision, when I was thinking back on it. Because she wasn't a very thin woman. She wasn't fat, but she was just little big bones. And I remember thinking, hmm, you know, because I, I just imagined she would be really skinny. That's so how she looks in the movies. So she was, she was probably about the size I am now. I'm not skinny. So, um, and then she was wearing all black. And it was these people, I know one of them was a female, the other one I, I'm not sure, I, I want to say it was a male, but I'm not sure. I think it was a male. But anyway, they were holding her arm, and they was holding her up, and I did not see her that well. I know her skin looked light, to be honest, um, but I did not see her facial features that well, and that's why I have to get into myself. When this happened to me, God took away the memory of myself and who I was. And he let me think and feel the way that they felt. He wanted me to feel what they felt. So when I was in this experience, this is an open vision, I could not remember, I couldn't even remember that was Jesus on, on, this, on the cross. Okay, I'll get into that. Tree cross, I was watching. So um, I just, uh, you know, I couldn't, I, I didn't go up to Mary like, oh, that's Mary, I'm looking around, it's, you know, I probably would have. Body and trying to see the disciples and everything, but I could not remember who I was, and I was literally there. I mean, this is this is 100% it felt completely real. I could feel the ground under, underneath me, I could feel the air, I could feel everything. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, it's hard to explain the um, I'm trying to explain the uh, the way that it felt, it, it was so heartbreaking. It was so heartbreaking. Um, before me, I was standing over to the right of where Jesus was, and he was a little, you know, a little over to my left. 
And I, I can tell you from what I saw, and I know this is fact, that the uh, where he was crucified was elevated, probably about maybe 15 feet up. I would say it was probably, I can't be 100% sure because I was in such a grief, but it was it, his, where his feet was, was elevated higher, high above me, like probably, um, maybe 10, 10 feet, 20 feet, I don't know, something like that. He was high up, but not high, high up, but he was on a hill. And, um, when I saw him on this cross slash tree, and I was like, um, I kept, you know, crying and crying, I'm like, how could they do this to him? He's such a good man, and all the great miracles he did. How could they do this? And I, that's how I was in this vision, because I was feeling what they was feeling. And um, I could not even remember that was Jesus. And I just kept saying, this is, he's such a great man. How could they do this to such a great man? And, you know, all the miracles, all the things he's done. And I was thinking about the miracles in my mind. And that part is fuzzy to me, but I remember reliving some of the miracles that he had did. And, and like, you know, how could they do this? And he didn't do anything wrong. And I was just crying and crying just with them. And that's what they was thinking. And everybody was just crying and crying. And I'm going to tell you right now, they was not thinking that was the son of God. They were just like, that's a great man. He's done something great. He's innocent. He's innocent. He hasn't done anything wrong. So that's the way we was feeling. And then um, it was it was really heartbreaking for me. It was really heartbreaking for me. So I, I yeah, was caught up into that. But I can tell you what I saw. Okay, his cat. His hair was matted with blood. And there were, um, the thorns on his head was not like the movies, okay? He had a crown of thorns on his head, yes, but they were, um, I'm trying to get my hand, probably about this, those thorns were about this long, okay? Not like the little movie thorns. It was like this, this long. And they were thick, um, about this thick, okay? And um, it was it was made, you know, this crown of thorns on his head. And uh, what um, I remember seeing was that he did not have on a shirt. And uh, yes, I could see his body clearly. And God helped me to tell everything because I'm trying. To. And um, so um, I. Saw that he was thin. He looked really thin. I don't know if he had been fasting and everything because I saw him even some another vision and I saw his muscles. So, um, but when he was on that cross, he was thin. So I don't know if he was fasting or what. He probably was fasting. And that's what I remember thinking when I came back. So, anyway, um, uh, what he was on, it looked like a tree. I'm just gonna tell y'all what I saw, okay? You, you, <laughs> this is, this is what I know to be fact, you know, because I experienced it and I know it's fact and I don't care what nobody say. But what I saw was a tree. And it was about maybe, um, uh, two feet wide, maybe two and a half feet wide. I would say anywhere from one and a half feet to two and a half feet wide. And um, there was a piece of wood on the tree for his arms. So it was a cross. That's why I say tree slash cross. And there may have been another piece of wood that um, it may have been a cross that they put on a tree. That's very possible. A cross put on a tree. But I did not see the other piece of wood in back of him. So I cannot attest to that. And because I was grieving so much, I did not have the mind to think to look for it. But I did see a piece of wood, and it wasn't like the movies with the uh, perfectly cut uh, plywood, you know, this perfectly trimmed, you know, sisty. It was about um, about this thin. It was about this thin. And the, the, the ends of this uh, this uh, wood that his arms was on were... Um, was not a perfect straight, um, you know, straight line. It was, it was like they just hocked, hocked it off or whatever to, 
put him on the cross. They, they wasn't trying to make it with me. Okay, I'm sorry. It's not like the movies. Well, I'm not sorry. That's just how it was. So anyway, um, so I saw him on this cross. His head was tilted to the, the, uh, the, what's this? My, the his left side. He was facing me, so his head was, was to his left side. And it was down, you know. My, my neck is hurting. That's when I'm having trouble. But anyway, his head was down. And um, when I saw him, the, it looked like he had no life in him. I, I'm assuming it was right after he'd already said what he had to say. Um, when I saw, when I had this vision, the atmosphere was getting really um, dark. But it wasn't dark all the way um, yet. And, um, let's see, I'm trying to remember the things I have to When I saw him, his bones, you could clearly see his bones. I mean, like, he looked really skinny, but you could see, like, all his bones. You could see all his bones. I wouldn't say anorexic skinny, but, um, he was pretty skinny, you know, like he had been fasting for a while. And, And um, so, um, so I feel like I'm leaving something out. I can't remember. I need to leave something out. I can't remember. I'm sorry. So anyway, um, yes. When I saw him, a crow came over on the right side of him on top of the cross part where the board was for his arms and um the crow looked it looked down at him and it and it looked it, it kept well it kept looking well, let me turn this way looking this way it kept looking over this way and then uh looking down over this way and looking down it kept doing that like two like two or three times like it was trying to figure out what, what Jesus was doing. And oh that's another thing. When I saw him on this cross slash tree, I kept wondering, is he going to wake up? Because I knew he was such a miracle worker. And I kept saying, come on, wake up. You know, in my mind, you know, I'm like, I'm crying profusely. I cried a lot even after this. And um, because it was so real. But anyway, I'm crying profusely. And I'm like, God, wake up. I mean, I didn't say God because I didn't think he was God. In this In this vision, I thought he was a good man. And I was like, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. And he would not wake up. And I was so heartbroken. Because, you know, that's, I know how that's how they felt. They were staring at him, just, just hoping that he would wake up. And then I remember thinking about all the things he went through, you know, to get up to that cross. I remember thinking about how they had tortured him and everything that he went through. And also I saw his feet and I saw his feet. They were like they was crossed. And, um, I didn't actually see the nail part because I, like I said, I wasn't actually trying to, and I was in so much grief, but I didn't, I didn't, I can't remember the nail part, but I, I, I knew it was there. I would assume because his feet was crossed and it had to be something holding his feet. It was one on top of the other. And, uh, it was just so horrific. It was so horrific. And I, I just cried so much. And, um, and then, uh, I came back, and as soon as I came back from this uh, experience, I remembered yes, that that was Jesus Christ, and um, I was really in shock, and uh, that God even showed me that, and um, and it, I just I probably cried for a long time because I was in such shock, and that God would show me that. And that he went through that for me, for us. And um it, it was beautiful. And I thank God for showing me that. You know, other people and I knew he had been beaten a lot too. I saw that. I saw the uh evidence of that. So um I know that that was there as well. Uh so you know, because he looked really oh yeah, another thing, thank you, God. 
his beard had a patch missing out of his beard. I remember that. He had a patch of hair missing out of his beard. He did have on a beard and he had a mustache. Okay, and, and his hair was probably um I wanna see it was like right down right down. Okay. And but he had a beard and I've seen dudes with long hair, so I've heard people say me and the long hair. I saw, I've seen them so I don't care what they say. But he had a uh, uh, hair missing out of his beard. Okay, and he was um, badly, badly abused. And I believe that this is before they stabbed him. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, that was that one. So, uh, I want to talk about when I saw the resurrection. What I saw with the resurrection, um, I was actually at work. And um, I have been praying a lot. I have my own office. I can close the door. And I used to pray a lot for that job. It was really, really giving me a hard time. I think God helped me in this world. So I had the door closed and I'm praying to God. And I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm in the Holy Ghost and I, I have my praise and worship music and I'm at church. <laughs> I'm praying to God. You know, I, I probably was on lunch because I used to go on lunch break and just do that all the time. So yeah, I probably was on lunch. But anyway, um, so I'm at work with my door closed and I'm sitting on my at my desk and all of a sudden I see Jesus resurrection. But all I saw was him come to the uh he came to the entrance of the cave, okay? The stone was already rolled away. I saw that. It was already rolled away. And I would say that the atmosphere was, it was, a, it was, it was a sunny day. Okay. That's what it looked like to me. It looked like a sunny day. It could have been, you know, cause sometimes I think about that. It can be sunny up until like six o'clock. So I don't know what time it was. I mean, so I have no idea. I didn't have a clock. But anyway, so it was like a sunny day. But it could have, you know, I don't know what time. But anyway. Um, and I saw him come to the entrance of the cave. And he just, he half smiled. And he was like, in, in his mind, I knew what was in his mind. He said, I'm about to change the world. That's what he said. I'm about to change the world. And when he rose, he was wearing a white, a white robe. Now, I don't know if they dressed him in his white robe. But this is what he was wearing. He on a white robe. His hair was spectacular. And his hair looked longer. It looked longer to me than it did when he was on the cross. Now, I don't know if that was on the cross. His hair was a matter of blood. Or did it grow? I guess it was because it was a matter of blood on the cross. But anyway, it looked longer. And, um, and he had on a white robe and he was he was beautiful. Nothing like on the cross. I mean, on the cross, it was, it, it was so, it was so painful to, to watch that. And, um, but when I saw him resurrect, he was, uh, he was beautiful. And, um, he was very happy. And so that's what I saw. You know, that's Jesus. Death and resurrection. I was gonna say another one, but it doesn't have anything to do with this. So I probably should make another video. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for using me. We can't complain. Those of us that are used by God, we have to, we have to not complain. So thank you, God. You know, I thank God for this gift and for what it's shown me. And God bless you all. And I hope that you were able to envision what I saw. So you could have been there with me. And uh, I love you all. I really, truly do. Even your coaches, I love you all.